that's my savior and my bridge between you and I. And so, boom, I walk into the restroom, and Marge looks at me and said, what happened to you? And I told her, I said, well, ever since then, my life has really changed. And how did I get into this kind of leadership? Well, the sea started at the same time that I was going through this spiritual renewal, because in 1983, after the one minute came out, Robert Schuller invited me to appear on the Power of Power as one of his guests. And he read the one minute manager on TV. He said, Jen, what a fabulous book. You know who was the greatest one minute manager of them all? I said, no, who? He said, Jesus of Nazareth. I said, really? He said, yeah, he was really good at setting one minute goals. He was real clear on goals. And once the goals were clear, you know, you and Peter didn't invent management by wandering around or any of you. He said, Jesus, he wandered around from one person to another, and he would pray to people when it was appropriate. If they were off the he wasn't afraid to reprimand them. He was a classic one-minute manager. And so what I started to realize is I started to take the Lord into my heart. It not only did it make a difference in my own life, but I realized that right here, not only did we have the spiritual leader that we all needed, we had a classic leader for all organizations, for all people, for all situations. And the more I started to look at the Bible, the more I realized that sure Jesus was the one minute manager, sure he was a situational leader, sure he did everything that I've ever talked about. And so this leadership encounter that you're about to go through is all about recognizing that we as believers have the greatest leadership model for all seasons, for all reasons, for all people. And we want you in this encounter to take Jesus in your heart in a whole different way because he is so clear how he wants us to lead. He wants us to be servant leaders. And that's what this leadership encounter is all about. How to take the principles of servant leadership as models Jesus and Nazareth and bring them into your life.